Hello my mystical creatures, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ocean Jasper, I'm an intuitive title reader and today we're going to find out what messages does your person have for you. So we have three piles here that you can choose from. There is the centering in pile number one with the bone. Then we have the pulse, the lover in pile number two with the pine cone. And finally we have the bamba in pile number three with the pine branch. I'm also going to show you the decks underneath. We have the Mystic Fairy Tarot deck in pile number one. Then we have the Yevelyn Tarot deck in pile number two. And finally, we have the Spirit Song Tarot deck in pile number three. So take as much time as you like in order to make your choice. You can go impulsively or you can pause the video here and meditate on your person. Whatever works for you, just follow your gut feelings and you're going to be fine. If you feel very confused, you can even listen to more than a pile. That's absolutely okay. One technique that I use to clear my confusion away is to focus on the timestamps in the info box below. Indeed, I feel very particularly close to certain numbers rather than others. Others, so that will be my choice. Obviously as soon as you're ready you can click on those timestamps and it will bring you directly to the beginning of your reading. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if the video has resonated with you. I would love to hear from you and I'll answer to each one of your comments. Also if you do enjoy the video don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video. Also, if you'd like to get any of the decks that I'm using today, you're going to find all the Amazon affiliate link in the info box below, which will bring you directly to the place where you can buy them. And if you do buy them from there, you're also going to have the channel slightly because Amazon will send me a ton of little commission every time that one deck has been sold. Although the price for you is going to be the exact same as everywhere else. And if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, there's also the Amazon wish list. If you would like to send me a deck my way in order to upgrade the readings and there's also the donation button there the, the paypal donation button so those are the ways but don't feel obliged absolutely to do any of that even just your presence is absolutely enough so thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the love and support that you have been sending me and showing me i love you guys so much and i'm absolutely grateful for everything that you've been saying to me so thanks again and i hope you're going to enjoy this video and i'll see you at the beginning of your reading hi my lovelies welcome to your reading if you have chosen pile number one with the centering the bone and the mystic fairy tarot deck so we're gonna place this on the side and keep it there as a reference throughout the whole reading and before we shuffle the cards i just want to show you that i have already drawn some oracle cards for you with some runes as well and we're going to look at them at the very end of your reading so let's go ahead and ask spirits what are the messages from your person to you please and thank you what are their messages for pile number one please and thank you we're going to accept reverse cards for this reading I hope you had a nice week and that you're getting ready for a lovely weekend. Always be reminded there is a possibility to get a private reading for yourself. If you'd like to get one, you can contact me. The email is in the info box below. And you can find all these decks that I'm using today in the info box below in form of an Amazon affiliate link which is one of the ways you have to support the channel. Indeed, I will receive a ton of little commission from Amazon every time a deck has been bought from those links. But for you, the price is going to be the exact same as everywhere else. And obviously, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video. So what are the messages for pile number one? 
Five of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Then we have the Four of Cups in reverse, clarified by the Queen of Wands. And the Eight of Swords upright, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So let me check the light for a second, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So, what do we see here? Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Wands upright, Seven of Pentacles upright. It feels like this person is saying to you that something currently, it is not working, it is not showing the results that you were expecting, especially after putting daily constant work and so much effort, so much time, so much energy. And so it could be that at times you might feel uh, with these photo cups um, and the five of swords, you might feel demotivated, you might feel as you are doing something wrong, you might have some internal battle wondering should I continue doing this or should I stop, should I change, should I change fields, should I do something completely different and I can feel that you are also possibly starting to think that you do not deserve the success that you were uh, hoping to receive that you do not deserve the love and you started uh, really being a little negative and pessimistic and uh, not talking very nicely to yourself and with this eight of swords upright as well you might at times feel like you are completely trapped and you're you're letting those negative thoughts in your head eating your soul slowly you are giving too much power to those negative thoughts and you are letting them paralyzing you so that you cannot move forward and cannot move backward and you feel like you're totally powerless and there is nothing that you can do to improve the situation so this person have two important messages here for you one it is that you're absolutely absolutely amazing that they admire your creativity so much they admire your energy your strength your general positive vibe that you always spread to everybody else and to the whole world but to yourself sometimes they really feel affected by your joyful presence and by the enthusiasm that you have for life and how determined you are to follow your passions, how you are taking an alternative road where instead of being part of the system, being one little aunt that is just doing the job the society has been telling her to do, you are doing your thing, you are following your heart and that is so admirable and of course it does take time with these seven of pentacles, you need time to see those results, you need to be patient and you need to keep being constant because maybe at times because you get paralyzed with those negative thoughts, you might actually um, be counteractive for your productivity because you might just stop putting as much time and effort because you just give up. You have some moments, some days where you do give up and you feel like it's not worthy, there is no point, it's not going to bring to any result. But actually, if you would keep being constant, it would bring to amazing results. They want to tell you that you are absolutely talented and so beautiful and inside and outside that you have such a lovely energy for every everybody else that they really admire you and possibly as well they're telling you to gain wisdom from nature because the queen of wands is very close to nature in general and definitely they are telling you to, to keep believing in yourself to be confident in your ability and to uh, trust that you can do it okay you are a queen so who else can do it better than you
then we have nine of pentacles in reverse clarified by the three of pentacles nine of cups in reverse clarified by the priest the hierophant the empress in reverse clarified by the two of cups so by looking at these cards nine of pentacles in reverse nine of cups in reverse and the empress I have the feeling that you might actually be in a position where you don't have enough around you, where you don't have enough gratification out of your life, you might not have enough money, you might not feel comfortable enough, not being able to satisfy your basic needs. Also it could be that you might have you might have a a delay in pregnancy or a miscarriage. Uh and or it could as well be that your partner has left you, that you are alone, a single mother, or you need to go through your birth by yourself because your partner has uh, left you for uh, intentionally or not intentionally and they have to go. For some of you, it will clearly not resonate with all of you, but in general, if it's not that, then I feel that you might be in a position where you're not really happy with yourself and with your ability to manifest your dreams and to be productive, to create uh, abundance around you. So you are in a position of scarcity in general, whether it's financial scarcity or love scarcity. It could be that you have that mindset set or that you have difficulties in general manifesting those dreams for yourself and therefore you start feeling really bad about yourself as if you are worthless like we saw before with the four cups so uh, i feel that the message here is to actually focus on your work if it if there is something that is still working for you if there is something that is still harmonious if there is some type of partnership that makes you feel joyful or that are giving you some satisfaction then focus on that put all of your energies in that and try not to see um try not to concentrate on the other things that are going badly so the message from this person is to be grateful for the things that you have and concentrate on those and also to believe in miracles because look at this butterfly bringing a pentacles to uh, this little fairy so there will be gift coming on to you you just need to place yourself in a more positive mentality and also with the priest i feel that in this particular deck there is a, a a different meaning that slightly shift from the traditional one indeed it feels like they're they're saying to you to ground yourself to spend more time meditating to go through an inner quest and try to do some to go from um, to really dig within yourself to be at peace with yourself to start loving yourself more and also to connect with your ancestors what troubles what problems did your ancestor have if you have knowledge of that even just your grandparents what troubles did they go through what insecurities did they have try to connect with those and see if you can break the cycle try as well to see if there's anything that they understand voluntarily transmitted to you that is negative like some concept about money some negative ideas about being rich for example that therefore is blocking your abundance so they're saying to you to connect to your roots but only taking what feels right for you so try to break the cycle and start something new for yourself and for the future generation as well because there is abundance all around you you just need to believe that you deserve it so it is definitely a very spiritual card here sometimes you can talk about marriage and commitment of course but i feel that he, here in this particular scenario is more of a spiritual commitment and the two of cups i feel that is going to be the result they are saying to you that once you place yourself in a in a higher vibrational state and 
then you break the cycle from those old beliefs that are not serving you anymore. And once you get into this place of gratitude where you pause and look at the beautiful things that are all around you, like a flower or a butterfly or a little or a, a beautiful leaf and you are stepping away from that negativity and therefore things will come to you. The two cups speak about meeting somebody that will understand you, that will actually see you, that will want to have a love exchange with you, that will feel like sharing a portion of their life with you, sharing their dreams with you and be there loving you okay so love will come and that satisfaction will come and that happiness will come but first you need to go through this personal inner journey also another interpretation of this card if you already have somebody in your life but they had to temporarily leave they are saying to you that things will work that you are going to make it work together that you don't have to be afraid because they are committed to you fully and that they can't wait to see you again that they even um that that they love you, that they have feelings for you and they might even think about some type of proposal here, okay? So it feels like they're, they're saying to you, you're not alone, I will be coming back. So it's a very reassuring message. Let's see what else. Judgment of right. With the temperance in reverse, ace of swords upright, hermit in reverse, ten of cups in reverse, and the death in reverse. What a lovely card! So, judgment and temperance in reverse. I feel that they are saying to you that this temporarily lack of harmony it is actually going to be a test for yourself for this connection or for your life journey in general it is testing you there is a purpose for this lack of harmony so you really need to trust that is for the best indeed it's going to be soon followed by a new beginning by a new clarity okay but it does need you to go really inward with this hermit you will have the clarity only if you are going to turn the torch within yourself and go dig deep. Um, so it clearly needs some work from your side as well. And I feel that they're saying that at the moment you are not looking within as at least not enough as it needs to be done. Or at least they're saying to you, please don't delay that because it is going to be very beneficial to you. Ten of Cups in reverse and death in reverse. So here they are saying to you that it's very important for you to embrace big disruptive changes. It, it is going to be very hard at first. It is going to make you feel as... You have done something wrong to deserve this is going to make you feel very um, reluctant to move on and it is it is very hard but they are saying to you that just like certain mushroom grows only after the comp certain organic matter decompose it's the same for some of your dreams they will grow just after some part of you goes to an end so we need to let go of certain parts of ourselves, or we need to let go of some people some old structures that we were f basing ourselves onto so that change is needed like nature has changes all the time the seasons we uh, learned how to embrace them and and when we don't accept them, then we actually have a hard time going through each of those seasons that we're never happy. The secret to be happy is to embrace them, to 
learn how to love them so i feel that your person is really saying try not to be too reluctant to this change because it will bring you good news it will bring you new clarity i know that at the moment with these ten of cups you might feel as if you are totally unsatisfied quite unhappy as if your bubble has been popped as if your dream has been ruined by something or it has been delayed way too much uh, to the point that you have started losing faith towards it but really this person is saying to you clarity will come new beginning will come look this is like an angel shouting out the truth so the day of truth will come okay and i know like right now with all these four cards in reverse things seems really tough at the moment as in with this hermit in reverse there is some difficulty as in possibly you have been trying looking within you have been trying finding the meaning within all of these negative experiences and you did not manage to understand why they are happening and maybe you are even going to psychotherapies uh, doing some journaling maybe reading some self-help books but nothing seems to be helping so you might feeling in the darkness right now where everything is disrupted and nothing is going the way you want it to but i feel that they're saying to you the judgment day will come you will see the truth you will see a new beginning you will see clarity now last round of cards and then we're gonna go to the article we have five of pentacles in reverse clarified by the eight of cups in reverse page of cups seven of cups the fool in reverse and the priestess in reverse so you had the priest and now you have the priestess and so i see here that there is they're saying to you that you're probably currently not very much in touch with your intuition with your own truth with that secret knowledge you might have close communication with those voices that they were coming from the other worlds and you're not giving yourself a new chance you're not taking this leap of faith it's like you're losing trust into this new beginning that you have created for yourself page of cups and seven of cups and then we have Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Both of these cards speak about somebody that is pretty much focusing in the past and the things that they have lost, especially the Five of Pentacles. And your person is trying to say, please stop looking back. Stop thinking of all the things that you have lost, all the things that are going badly, that are not going in the right direction as you would wish. Stop thinking that you don't have any chance to be happy anymore because new things will come, new dreams, new people, new connections, new opportunities, new ideas and you really need to move forward even though it's very hard to let go for the purpose of your soul growth. You need to jump on this, what's the name of it, of it again, firefly, no, dragonfly jump on this dragonfly and shift to new um to a different lake to a new water it's because these ones are toxic for you at the moment so you really even though with a heavy heart you need to move away from this okay it's not going to be easy but you need to move away so clearly there has been something dissatisfying you you might have lost somebody, uh, you um, you might have remained alone during something uh, very important. And so you feel as if you cannot do it all by yourself, as if you really need the help. And that's all that you're looking for. But I feel that this person is saying to you, a love is always around you. It might not be in the shape that you wanted it to, but it's always there. It's in plenty different forms. 
with the seven of cups and also they're saying to you please start being dreamy again being imaginative again being creative again write down the things that you want to attract okay because creative writing as well and positive thinking are such powerful tool to manifest the reality that we want they're saying to you there's there's going to be so many different options there's going to be so many choices for you out there so things are going to change right now the only reason why you're not really able to see those options is because you're not in touch with your as with your spirituality or with your intuition with the real self okay you might be stuck in some layers of yourself that are far away from the essence you might be stuck into the worry of life into the worries of life rather than going within into your peace and the fact that we have the centering as well that's a great message that they're sent to you to ground yourself look at this massive fire starting from the egg going deep in within the ground but at the same time this person is connecting with both worlds with the earth and with the spiritual realm there is the moon as well which is a very um symbolic um drawing that we found in every high priestess um so I don't know if it's in this particular card, but usually in the traditional high priestess we would have the moon so I really feel that these two cards are very much connected and the egg is a symbol of new beginning of birth and possibly you are there trying to birth something and you're just wondering when is it going to happen or am I even going to be able to deal with this new being with what even if it's a person an animal a project whatever that is that you are creating that you are giving birth to you might be wondering am i going to be able to do it by myself so this person is telling you you really need to draw energies from the ground and from the sky and remember that you are divine that you have all the knowledge that you possibly need as, as as long as you get in tune with it, you're going to receive those messages. So it's time for the oracle cards now. We're going to look at the book together. So the first cards we have is the fox. And the fox here, it says that is a fine, graceful creature who typifies the beauty and harmony of the natural world. Working with the power of the fox, you will know when it is time to come out into the open and be counted, but you will also know when it is time to remain silent, to keep your own counsel. And regarding the other card, the other druid animal card, we have the salmon. And about the salmon, they say the card may indicate that you're trying too hard to reach your goals and that you're trying or that you're relying on someone else to find your wisdom for you. Amazing. We were just looking at how you are struggling, possibly manifesting some of your dreams. So they're saying to you that at times it's probably better to be silent, to be still, to hide yourself into your den and draw a wisdom um, and, and use that, use your own wisdom rather than waiting for somebody else telling you what to do. Because that's why you are probably feeling ungrounded, you're probably feeling in insecure and worried and it is because you're lacking trust in within yourself now let's have a look at the other cards so the first card we have from the druid plant oracle is the clover and as you can probably imagine the meaning of the clover it brings luck so I'm going to read to you that part. It says, since records began, good luck has been said to come to those who find a four-leafed clover. It is extremely auspicious to draw this card in a reading and it may well indicate that you are about to experience good fortune. How amazing. Then the second card is the guardians in reverse. And for this card it says, 
The card may suggest that you need to have the confidence in your abilities and the trust in life to slow down and not take on every offer that is made to you. We often find ourselves rushing through life, anxious that if we stop, nobody will want us. Generally, this is not true. And by slowing down or pausing, we give life a chance to show us new directions. Again, this need for you to trust in within yourself and your own abilities and the fact that you need to slow down and hide yourself in your den if it is needed. Now let's have a look at the other cards. So from the Wisdom of Trees oracles, we have the Horse Chestnut. And then we have the Ginkgo in upright, yes. So the first, the Horse Chestnut actually says, something is puzzling you. Hold it up to the light of careful thought and do not be in too much of a hurry to solve the conundrum. Sometimes the answer is low to arrive, so do your best to be patient. Amazing. Again, I think we found before the messages of slowing down, uh, taking some moment to ground yourself to pause. So that's another confirm of that. You don't need to be in a rush to see your results. As well with the seven of pentacles that we saw before, the message of this person is for you to be patient. And then the ginkgo says, have you forgotten something important? Perhaps it has slipped your mind because you subconsciously want to ignore it or because it challenges you. Think about what it might be, then take constructive action to address it. And this makes so much sense again, because we saw that you had the high priestess in reverse and your person is saying, maybe you have lost touch with your subconscious. Maybe you need to get in touch with your intuition and trust it more. So how amazing to receive this other confirm. So let's have a look at the other two cards. So the last two ones are key and then the fox. So the key uh, says what is necessary, what is urgent, what is really important for you to do right now. And it is associated it is saying that what's important to do for you is to act like a fox so you can probably imagine what that means first of all it is saying to you that you need to be very careful not accepting every single offer that comes your way this is also a card though of saying that fate is working in your favor but that you need to be really good at filter out what is good for you and what is not what people or situation are trying to trick you and what are actually genuine so it's very important that you're going to be careful in that sense also might be saying to you that sometimes in love it's important not to always follow the rules so you need to do your own thing don't necessarily follow the rules from other people or from whatever um society has been taught to you that is right you need to follow your own compass what is wrong or right it's only you deciding it for yourself okay so that's everything i have for you don't forget to like share comment subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video and I'm always here available for a new private reading if you'd like to get one for yourself and that's everything I send you big hugs my loves I'll see you very soon in the next video bye bye I'm really sorry guys I completely forgot to tell you about your rooms so we had for you the Rado and the Wunio and I am so deeply moved by these two rooms for you because the Rado speak actually about your inner compass and that's the last thing that I was telling you about in your reading that is very important for your personal journey to follow your inner compass and as well it talks about right or Order. So it makes me feel that everything that is happening to you right now, it's simply following the right order of the, the, the order of the events that are planned for you, the events that you have chosen for yourself before coming here on earth. So it will bring to joy, which is the second rune your wish will be fulfilled. It will bring this 
temporary deception that you're going through right now it's an important step it's part of your journey but it will bring you finally to connect with the right people to have your dreams fulfilled to have happy harmonious joyful relationship and everything is going to be perfect everything is perfect everything is in the right order everything is as it's supposed to be so just trust in that okay that is everything for you what a beautiful ending i hope you have been enjoying it and i can't wait to see you again in the next video bye bye guys and sorry for the interruption Hello my lovelies, welcome to your reading if you have chosen pile number 2 with the Yevelyn Tarot deck, the Pulse, the Lover and the Pine Cone. So I'm going to place this on the side for you and keep it there as a reference throughout the whole reading and we're going to shuffle the cards in camera. And I also want to show you actually before we shuffle that I already have drawn a bunch of oracle cards just so that you know uh, that I didn't cherry pick them after the reading. So they're here, they're ready and we're going to look at them at the end of the reading and there's also a couple of runes for you. So I can't wait to get to those. Let's see if we're pile number two, what messages does your person have for you? It is not a strictly romantic reading, so this person could be anybody. Let's see if you're going to accept reverse cards as well. Bear in mind that all the decks that I'm using, you can find that in the info box below in the form of Amazon affiliate link. So if you decide to get the decks from there, you're also going to have the channels lightly with a tiny commission that will come from Amazon and not from you. Indeed, for you, the price is going to be the exact same as everywhere else. If you're looking for other ways to support the channel, apart from your beautiful, incredible presence, there is the Amazon wish list in the info box below or as well the donation button, the PayPal donation. And of course, you can like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below and comment your feedback. Indeed, I'll answer to each one of your texts and they make me super happy. It's the first thing that I do in the morning to check what you have texted me. So let's see messages for you from your person. Magician in reverse. The nine of pentacles upright. Then we have the three of wands, the moon in reverse, then we have three of pentacles in reverse and the king of wands. So let me sit with the energy of these cards for a second. I feel that your person is saying to you that you need to trust them, you need to trust in their ability to maintain control and order in within the situation. They're saying to you, everything is going to work out, everything is going to be fine. But here with these three of pentacles, it could be that there might not be full uh, trust into their, um, into the into this project that you are sharing together or into this current situation with this three of pentacles there could be or there could be some disharmony right now like something might have fall out of order so they're saying to you please trust me because i'll fix it i'll will bring everything into order everything is going to be fine even though you might not see it now the future seems to be unknown with this moon in reverse it might seem very hard to imagine what is going to happen next okay so Things could be pretty unstable right now and making you feel very shaky, making you feel like anything could happen. Uh, everything is could be an unexpected change, a disruptive change. You really, uh, you might feel really unsettled right now because of that. Nine of Pentacles and the Magician in Reverse, it feels like currently you might feel unable 
as we saw as well in part number one, unable to manifest this abundance for yourself. Or you might have a hard time as well uh, being happy by yourself with these nine of pentacles or not being satisfied enough by how uh, much you have created for yourself. It seems like you are very independent and you're happy on your own, but for some reason you feel like you cannot fully trust into your ability to manifest your dreams here with the magician in reverse. So maybe there is some uh, lack of self-confidence or you feel like your powers are not working as much as before. Your inner magic is not working as much as before. So something has destabilized you, has shaked your foundation. So I feel that this person is saying, Trust yourself or trust, have trust in them. Helping you fixing this situation. Sometimes uncertainty is part of the process and we just need to have faith in ourselves that we're going to be able to deal with that situation no matter what's going to happen and also to have trust in the universe and a trust in the path that we have chosen even before uh, our soul decided to come here on earth and having this terrain experience certain experiences we have picked them before coming here so just have trust in your old soul and whatever um has decided to go through in this life on earth let me get more cards so we're going to understand There could be as well a distant relationship here with these three of wands and the need to wait each other for a long time. Uh, there could be a notion between the two of you and the uncertainty whether this is going to work or not. You might not trust fully yourself by being alone. You might feel like, am I going to be able to commit to this person or not? And on the other side, your person might feel very confident and things are going to work out. Rather, on your side, it seems that um, you might having this uncertainty that things will be as harmonious as he wish. Don't mind me using genders because this is really not a gender specific reading. It's just for simple um, reasons. But yeah, they might be... They might be a little more confident that this is going to work out and you might have a little more doubts instead. Yeah, another king. King of Pentacles. Nano Swords. Ten of Wands. And the Tower in Reverse. Justice in Reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. Clearly something has disrupted the foundations of your persona of your job of your project of your relationship of your um of your life in general something has created a disruptive change something has broken down to a million pieces and you cannot rely on it anymore so clearly you have been uh, shook here been you have been shaken and this has created a lot of burden on your on your shoulder and a lot of anxiety, a lot of insomnia. You might be very, very worried that this new beginning is not going to happen, that everything has everything is chaotic right now and that justice won't uh reach you or that the truth won't reach you or that order and clarity won't reach you. So it feels like everything has been messed up. The only thing that is a pride here that has a really positive message is the King of Pentacles. So again, it feels like even though you might have lost all of this foundation, this person is here. They're saying, look, everything in your life could go down to pieces. It could fall apart. But me, I'm always going to stay here. Can you please trust in my presence? Can you please trust that I'm never going to leave you alone into this mess? And that I am a, um, a loyal, stable partner or friend or, um, how do you say, 
oh sometimes i have amnesia really like could be anybody could be um a colleague at work it could be um relative but they are saying please trust into my presence i am here with you and you can trust you can rely on me and i'm going to help you going forward the progress might be slowly but it will bring some it will bring us somewhere then we have the seven of pentacles they're saying to you please be patient Everything is going to be alright. Six of Cups. We will be happy again. Just remember how things were harmonious in the past. Just cherish the nice memories. Even though you might, for some of you, you might have to be separated from your person for some times. With that ocean that we've seen in the middle. But they're saying to you be patient and just use this time to cherish the lovely memories i am not going to go anywhere and i'm gonna keep fighting for you with these seven of wands and the priestess i feel like they're saying to you to to trust in your own abilities that you're going to be able to go through this no matter what the chariot things will move things will progress things will grow even though you're not able to see the light at the end of the tunnel just yet you're not able to see that movement just yet you felt pretty stagnant but they're saying that you eventually be able to go back to that lovely harmonious feeling as when you were a kid and you had nothing to be worrying about and life was just so beautiful and so precious and you were really enjoying the moment there was nothing burdening you so they're saying to you be patient because you will go back there you will go back to that phase four of swords and the five of ones are saying to you please pick yourself up Get out of bed and go fight for yourself. Go fight for your rights. Okay, we got the justice there. And so it could be that some, somebody has done something wrong to you. And it is very important that you defend yourself. Here of want in reverse. A commitment could have been tested here in Knight of Cups yet. Yeah. So for some of you, especially the ones with the ones with the distant situation, uh, they're saying to you, our connection is being tested, and uh, for um, what regards my intentions is to come back to you. Okay, my my cup is full of love and is dedicated only to you, to nobody else. And in in my head, I'm already on my way towards you i'm not going anywhere else five of swords and the lovers so clearly yes for some of you this might be a romantic situation indeed because there's a lot of cups and with the lover cards especially so there could be some conflicts regarding this connection maybe because a huge change has happened there has been some big disruptions you might have been separated temporarily there might have been even a conflict maybe you have said bad words to each other but i feel that they're saying they are ready to apologize in that case and you don't need to doubt their commitment you don't need to be um battled inside there's no uncertainty for them they are there for you it could be a twin flame connection star in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse then we have six of pentacles in reverse and the ace of wands upright. So 
So clearly, it seems like your wish, your dreams have been postponed, your happiness alone or within your project or within this person has been postponed and there has been some disharmony again, some lack of equal give and take, some... Um, you are in a situation in which you cannot show to each other how much you care for each other as well. Again, because of the distance or because somebody maybe as well is working too much or is busy with another um, important uh, responsibility that they have to take care of and therefore they're not able to give you enough time and effort and energy but uh, there is a lot of passion in this connection it is not that okay so your person might want to say to you look even though you might see me being very busy even though you might have the impression that I'm not working towards your dreams I'm still here I still have a lot of passion for you two of swords in reverse and then the sun in reverse so they're saying to you they are not indecisive they don't even feel like they are making a choice they if there has been a fork or if you have imagined that they had the choice they're saying to you please don't worry because you are the only person that i have feelings and desire for there is nobody else and literally you are the light um, of uh, of my life there is nobody else here i have eyes only for you don't worry about the sun in reverse because the sun it's bright whether it's a bright or reverse it's always a positive card and it always enlightens every other cards around it as well So if you feel that if there actually has been a distance between the two of you and you are afraid that that massive change is going to destroy this connection, they're saying to you, please don't, please don't have that doubt because I have absolutely no intention to take another path here, okay? Even if people will be giving me opportunities, they, that is not what I dream. I dream to have something with you okay even though currently they cannot show you uh all of the passion that they would want to possibly because of that distance let me see a few other cards As well, it feels that they are saying to you, please don't have any doubt in your dreams. Even if people are not helping you, even if you're completely alone in this path, just keep following your passion and don't let anybody else making you doubt your journey. And even if you're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel just yet, it will come. Six of Swords. Four of Wands in reverse and Six of Wands in reverse. Let me clarify this. Yeah, it really feels like somebody had to move away. I had to go for an important trip, an important journey or have to move country. And it feels like all of your dreams has been uh, fallen apart because maybe you were hoping to get married or to live together, to start a beautiful life together. And both of you were just so in the mood to celebrate and there were you were just so proud of yourself for having found that person and proud of the other partner as well and you and it feels like everything is falling apart now because one of you has to leave knight of wands king of cups and page of pentacles so i feel that this person is saying to you my offer is still valid. It might take longer than I thought. 
but I have all my heart and all my passion for you and I will I will be determined in making in turning our dreams real here with this night of wonder so much determination so much stamina so much excitement so much um passion they are definitely ready to step up for you they're ready to fight for you and it feels like they are they want to they want to promise you something here with this page of pentacles they want to promise you loyalty and commitment Now let's have a look at the oracle cards. Funny by the way how we got the lover twice. One in the card underneath here and second here in the goddess cards. So that is another really strong symbol that this might be a romantic situation. Also we have here both the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And they are both very near to a lake so they're both um, very concerned about some um, love matters of course about how they're feeling about their emotions and i can see as well how there is distance between them this could represent the ocean that separates you so again is another sign that you might be in a distant relationship although the animals the horse and the little birdies seems to be very much in harmony and not concerned whatsoever so it gives me this sense of peace as well so let's see what cards you got there is a seal in reverse from the Druid Animal Oracle and then we have the Goose. So we're going to read the messages from the booklet together. The seal in reverse suggests that you may have come to a time in your life when you're faced with a dilemma. Each way you turn could involve risk and potential loss and yet you know you must make a choice. The seal speaks of the longing of the heart, of true love, of a sense of humanity and goodness. In the end, these should be the determined factors in your choice. Although the seal may represent loneliness and separation, as the selkie imprisoned on dry land, remember that the time will come when she will be released and will act as a guide and a companion through the watery realms of the emotions and the other world. So again, love longing and the llama seem to be the key words here so clearly as i said before there is this feeling that one of you has to move away one of you has to leave uh, this uh, love therefore having this sadness for the connection being uh, broken apart at the moment and so one of you you possibly might be in this dilemma as in should I stay or should I go? And either choice would create a risk for yourself. So it's it's quite touching. Then the goo is instead drawn upright. It might indicate that you're ready to take on the responsibilities of raising a family or of committing yourself to a long-term relationship, to a long-term partnership. So... Possibly here the dilemma as well is, should I keep committing to this person or not? And I feel that your person message is, please commit to me because you are ready. We are ready for this. We can do it. And that we kept receiving messages of commitment and love and action and determination from your person. So it feels like they are saying you have a choice please don't have any dilemma here because we can make it work you can we can commit to each other it's going to be fine we're going to find harmony so let's have a look now at the plant oracle so we have the bramble in reverse and then the garlic in reverse so the bramble in reverse speak about being overly protective overly um, 
kind of suffocating and motherly and the, on the other side the garlic speak about uh, the need to swallow your solo up your pride and seek for protection from a friend or a counselor if you need so it seems they hear your person is saying i actually realize that i have been overly protected towards you maybe i have been overly present and maybe we have been too close in within our couple and within our little circle in our bubble therefore i haven't let you going out much i haven't let you experience life independently on your own too much so now that i'm leaving now that you have to face life on your own for a little while i feel that it's time for you to seek protection from others and that it is a good time for you to actually reconnect with your friends and learn how to be vulnerable with them as well and not just with me then let's see what other cards we got here so here we have the sugar maple and the comfort so here your person is saying First of all, to embrace change wholeheartedly. It's amazing how the Oracle cards always feel the energy of the cards and just keep giving confirm of what we've been reading. So your person trusts in your ability to embrace this change and possibly your person is even begging you to embrace this change, to not ab abandon them, to not let them go and to choose them to commit to them and then this comfort is saying to you to try and use the time alone to find a sacred space in which you can meditate for yourself and possibly have a different vision to this situation look at it from a different perspective and feeling like you're more ready to face the difficulties once you uh, get into that harmonious space finally we have the cross clarified by the lady so your person really believe in you your person has you at the center of their life and i feel that they are deeply committed to you Whoever they are, they have a lot of trust and confidence in you and they know that you are going to be able to overcome these, these burdens with the cross. And again, this is disruptive changes. You are in the middle of chaos and everything looks really dark, but they are saying to you, Find some time in meditation, embrace wholeheartedly this change. You have the power, you can make it, or we can make it as well. We are going to survive these changes, it's going to be okay. So, last thing, last, I want to read you the runes. So, your runes are Burkana and Soleu. So, Soleu, it's all about energy, vitality fuel happiness and then instead the burkana is about birth fertility and life processes and nurturing so um it feels like this person is saying i have enough energy to sustain this relationship to, to, to sustain this rebirth i have trust in us and i think that these changes will actually help us cleanse from the past and go through a beautiful transformation and a beautiful rebirth and i have um i have trust in us as i said and i do want to put all of my time and energy and effort in this because i believe that it's going to bring to something extremely good i believe that there is a fertile ground for us to grow and transform and let this union blossom into something perfect so please give us a chance it really feels i really feel this message really strongly and especially for those of you who are experiencing some some distance 
uh, decent relationship. So what a powerful reading. I really hope you guys have been enjoying it. So let me know in the comments below if it has resonated. Like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video. All of your support is, is extremely meaningful and it warms up my heart so much and you guys are helping me to turn my dreams into reality. So thank you so much and I can't wait to see you again in the next video. Bye bye guys big hugs to you hello my beauties welcome to your reading if you have chosen the spirit song tower deck in pile number three with bamba and the pine brunch so let's keep this on the side as a reference for the whole reading before i shuffle the cards i want to show you that i have already drawn a bunch of oracle cards for you and a couple of runes as well but we're going to read them at the very end of the tower reading so i can't wait to get to those so let's shuffle now the cards in camera. We're going to accept reverse cards for this reading. So what messages does your person have for you, pile number three? I hope you guys are doing well, that you had a lovely week and that you're getting ready for the weekend. Remember that you can always find these decks in the info box below if you want to get it for yourself. The Amazon affiliate link is there. And if you decide to buy the deck from there, you're also going to help the channel slightly with a tiny little commission that will come from Amazon and not from you. Indeed, for you, the price is going to be the exact same as everywhere else. Also, I am available for private reading if you'd like to get one for yourself. And if you'd like to support the channel in any other ways you have the donation button in the info box below as well as an amazon wish list if you'd like to get some decks my way and of course your presence is absolutely the most important of all so thank you from the bottom of my heart for being so loyal to this channel for sticking around for believing in me So we have Page of Crystals, clarified by the Chariot in reverse. Then we have Four Crystals in reverse, Seven of Feathers in reverse, Six of Crystals upright, and the Traveler in reverse. So let me meditate for a second on these energies. I can see here that with this page of crystals and the chariot in reverse, there could be some heavy obstacle here to bring you towards your goal, bring you or your person towards their goal. But it feels that they're saying to you, no matter how hard it's going to get, I am dedicated to this. I am absolutely fully present, committed to this. So it might take a long time, but I'm going to get prepared. So they are looking as well for new ideas to go past those obstacles, to maintain their commitment. They are trying to be very clever. They're trying to use some different strategies to go past those obstacles. Because at the moment, you might experience a period of stagnation where you feel that everything is stuck or frozen and it's really hard to see things moving and going to the next level. For the crystals in reverse, they want to let go of some control. What they are saying to you is better if you try and let go of this control because sometimes we cannot... Uh, as, we cannot control life. We cannot control certain life events that are completely disruptive and are unexpected and they make us temporarily unhappy and we wish we could do something about it. But like, uh, for example, natural disrupting events like a hailstone or storms or tsunami, like we 
have absolutely no control in certain natural events and we just need to let go we just need to embrace whatever is going to come to us so your person is finding strength was it or is trying to inspire you to have strength in that knowing that by letting go you're going to save up energy for later on that the wisdom is in not trying to control things that are outside of your control and as well the wisdom is in staying where you are because running away from difficult times is not going to help either so you can stay still and try and think about new strategies think about how else can you get yourself prepared for the next time that you're going to have a similar obstacles or for slowly coming out of this mess or coming out of these problems and i feel that they're saying to you you have the power and strength within yourself you just need to reach those parts of yourself just don't run away from them and with the six of crystals they're saying to you i'm next to you i am going through this together with you you're not alone i am supporting you wholeheartedly I believe in you and we're doing this together although it is a risky move possibly with this traveler in reverse it could be that there is a lot of uncertainty ahead of you and you feel like you are not prepared for this new journey for this new leap of faith but they're saying hold my hand and we're going through this together it's like there is a lot of resistance in starting this new beginning and possibly there is a tendency of wanting to run away from it because it seems too difficult and it seems like it could feel unsafe as well but they're saying to you hold my hand and it's going to be okay Queen of Crystals upright, Eight of Crystals in reverse, Six of Feathers, Awakening, Knight of Shells, and Seven of Crystals. I feel that this person is saying to you, even when things are not working out, or even when something or somebody lets you down, or even when you don't see progress in the things that you've been working on, please keep having faith and trust in yourself and maintain that high confidence and don't let the current situation diminish your personality or make you doubt about yourself because you are an amazing person. You have a lot of talent within yourself you have an amazing abilities to organize to keep situation under your control to nurture the people around you to be very practical you're very good with money as well and you are very good with your hands you're very creative and so just go back to your center and remember that you are able to go through this Six of feathers and awakening. I feel that they are saying to you. They are saying to you. They are possibly encouraging you. To move past these obstacles. And to try and look at them from a different perspective. As in a great source of wisdom. They are trying to say to you. Why don't you try and learn the lessons from these experiences. You need to let go of that frustration. Because I know possibly being a queen of crystals, you might like to always have things under control or to always have a solution for any problem and you don't have a solution for this. So they're saying to you, you need to let it go and that's the wisdom. You're going to find enlightenment once you just embrace the current situation as it is. 
sometimes you just need to let time do its own healing. Also, they're saying to you, there's going to be other options. There's going to be other solutions. There's going to be new opportunities around the corner. Maybe here with this night of shells, you have received some disappointment for somebody that has not showed up to a date or has not maintained their promises. Somebody might have broken your heart here or somebody might have been misleading you by looking really charming and passionate and really lovely and interested into you and then eventually it just end up being a huge scam so that's why you feel like you're not progressing that's why you feel stuck or you feel disappointed about how the present is happening <clears throat> so this message could be as well from a friend that is saying to you i understand your disappointment maybe you do not see progress in your love life or in your work life you have received a disappointment from somebody that has misled you and you wish like you could change things you wish you could receive a promise from this person that things are going to be all right so your friend is like they're supporting you have been saying to you i'm always going to be here i'm always going to be present no matter how many people are going to let you down i will be there for you and i feel like they're encouraging you by saying there's going to be plenty of other fishes in the sea We have Hanged Man in reverse, the Queen of Acorns in reverse, the Sun in reverse, the Two of Crystals in reverse, the Tower, and the Strength. So first of all, I can see how this person is saying to you, this event has been deeply transforming you. Maybe you have not realized it, but this event is bringing the true colors out of yourself. You're turning closer and closer to the truest version of yourself, the most authentic version of yourself. So it's making you stronger. Every disappointing event, any um any experiences like this in which your dreams have been popped like soap bubbles is making you braver, is making you stronger. You have so much more endurance than you ever thought you had. The sun in reverse and the two of crystals in reverse. Yes, currently there is a lack of balance, there is this impression that everything is dark around you, that there is no hope for the future. You might feel demotivated as well to seek other opportunities, to look around yourself and give yourself a second chance to try out new things, to... If you have been disappointed in a date, for example, with these two crystals in reverse, there is a reluctancy resistance into try and date somebody else as well i could be talking about some lack of inner balance in which all of a sudden you have started uh, you have stopped believing in yourself actually and because of because of the fact that things have not worked out the way you wish they would you all of a sudden feel like you have no control on your life whatsoever with this Queen of Acorns, yes, there is a, lot, a huge lack of motivation, huge lack of creativity. Possibly you don't feel really good about yourself anymore. You don't feel very attractive anymore. You feel like you have been waiting so long and eventually it has um, not, not brought the fruits that you have been hoping for. You have the wrong perspective as well here with this Hangman in Reverse. You're having the wrong vision about yourself. You're not seeing clearly. This is what your person is saying. There is lack of light here with the sun in reverse. Not just lack of vitality. So like 
lack of clarity. You're not seeing things clearly here. You're not balanced on the inside. Possibly as well your inner chemicals are disrupted currently because of this huge disappointment. But your person is here trying to say to you, these experiences are needed because they are transforming your soul. They are peeling off layer after layer of all of those conditionment that we learned to put on ourselves just to please other people around you, to please society. We've just been conditioned our whole life. And it's, it's through these disappointing experiences that we get closer and closer to the truest version of ourselves and we stop being people pleasing for example we learn how to respect ourselves a lot more we learn how to give priority put, put priority in our own needs rather than other people needs all the time so these experiences is making you a lot stronger And this is the message from your person. They truly believe in you. Five of shells in reverse. Three of feathers in reverse. The magician. The high priestess in reverse. The ten of crystals in reverse. And the empress. So your person is saying that even though you don't believe in yourself very much right now. And you're not listening to your inner voice. To your inner wisdom. You have all of the tools that you possibly need to create your reality so they believe so much in your own ability to manifest the things that you want to achieve your dreams to achieve your goals they believe that you have it all that you need to stop believing the people that are leaving you behind you need to stop giving importance to them because it's just a reflection of who they are not a reflection of who you are so they're just saying let them go, let the experience go, don't allow that experience to define who you are and instead of keep focusing on the losses of your life, instead of keep focusing on the people that have left or that have disappointed you, try and focus on the people that are here for you, that keep rooting for you, that keep believing that you are a beautiful, awesome, amazing person that brings so much light into everybody's life. And that is going to be the way for you to heal and recover and rebirth. They they get they get it. They get how painful it is right now for you. They they can see how heartbroken you are currently. But they really hoping that you will realize uh, as soon as possible how ma what a magical creature you are and how many beautiful um talents you have and how really there's nothing that you are missing you're not lacking of anything empress in reverse and the ten of crystals in reverse it feels like abundance and happiness is just around the corner you just need to believe that you're worthy of them okay you just need to um unleash that power within yourself it's like you are mother nature itself and you are still a seed underground and you're feeling all the pain of this seed cracking and you don't know what's going on and everything around you is super dark and there's nobody around you that, that is telling you what's going on or that can give you an example um, that can reassure you you're just in the middle of this darkness and it's painful. But within you, you have the power of nature. You have an amazing forest that is about to blossom and you don't even know it. You cannot hear it just yet, but there is there are exotic birds singing between your trees and you don't know that just yet. So this person is trying uh, to remind you of your potential. Is trying to encourage you that beautiful things are around the corner that you just need to wait patiently and also that you need to allow these negative uh, deceptive um experiences to to teach you the lessons that you needed to hear and to 
And one of those main lessons is do not allow rejections to define you. Just let it be an experience that allows you to see what is it that is good for your soul and what is not. They are all um, opportunities for you to practice and to get to know yourself a lot better, to, to know what characteristic you're looking in a partner as well. Because when we know what is it that we don't want anymore, then it's so much clearer what we want. So just if you look at if you look at it from that perspective, every uh, upsetting experience has a something positive in storage for us. And I feel that they're saying you are going to reach stability very soon. You just need to wait a little longer, but it's just there for you. So let's have a look now at the oracle cards. Although first I'd like to talk about this bamba. So it feels like your person is seeing in you fairness, balance, groundedness, organizational skills, empathy, and a nurturing nurturing soul. So they're seeing all of these things in you and they're really hoping for you to be aware of all of this value that you have and as well they're hoping that you are embracing your ability to fully express yourself to fully understand all of these magical powers that are within you you need to find them and then use them and put them in uh, expression express your uh, creativity express your pure soul and finally fully being yourself so first of all we're going to start with the druid animal oracle and the first card we have is the hair in reverse then we have the ram in reverse and we're going to read the messages together from the booklet so the hair is talking about is suggesting that there is imbalance in your life it is possible that you are allowing yourself to be overly concerned with the other world, regarding every unusual sign as important or paying too much attention to the channeled messages. To achieve balance, we need to concern ourselves with the outer, outer realm just as much as the inner. Okay, so and it makes sense because we saw a lot of imbalance before as well and lack of intuition and the hair is a very intuitive creature as well. There's a moon as well which speak about the intuition again and I see the eggs as well as symbol of rebirth and then the ram says sometimes letting go however painful can open the door to a new life that you never thought you could achieve rather than banging your head against a brick wall see if it is possible for you to walk around it amazing because we were speaking about letting go how important it is to let go of some painful experiences or let go of control that's the first thing that we said at the beginning of your reading. Amazing. So let's have a look now at the plant oracle. And we have the wheat in reverse and the restorers. And these messages are quite similar between each other because the wheat is telling you that you need to really find some stability to settle down somewhere that that is one of the main things that you need to focus yourself on and the restorers speak about the need to find some peace and calm even though it's great sometimes to fully invest yourself into new adventures right now it is the time to find inner peace so these cards really match together very well because it, it seems like they're saying to you that you will find that inner peace only once you're going to settle down. Beautiful. So generally these four cards together are saying you need to let go of some imbalance and 
find going to a new place of peace and uh, settle down and try not to be too concerned with um, elderly problems or to be a little more practical and let go of all of these imbalances because you do not have control on them that's the general message so if you want to find some inner peace then uh, you need to let go of the problems outside of you uh, of the external circumstances and settle in within yourself and find peace within yourself so let's have a look at the other cards from the tree wisdom so the first tree we have is bristlecone pine and then we have silver birch in reverse the bristlecone pine says life does not always run smoothly and you are currently facing difficulties do your best to remain strong and steadfast during these troubling times persist with your goals while learning from your setbacks amazing and silver birch says sit in a garden or park near some trees listen as the wind rustles through the branches and leaves imagine that your worries and ailments are tiny leaves being blown away from you cleansing your mind and body i really love how the oracle cards at the end of the reading always seem to close a cycle and and clarify in such a beautiful and gentle way the messages that has already come out finally we have gentleman and book so possibly your person is trying to tell you to read a book that he or she has been giving you in the past okay there and to, to find to sit at the bottom of a tree and read your book and try to ground yourself to settle in to distract yourself from the external problems and another message that I see here is that your person might be saying to you that it is time for you to write down the qualities that you are looking in a man or a woman, whoever there is. There is masculine energy here, but doesn't necessarily have to be a man. And to just write down the qualities of this gentle um, person that is empathic, understanding, sweet, um, musical creative whatever you want it to be just write down those qualities and you will steer the magic in the universe you will send that message to the universe and it will bring that person to you as as long as you believe it okay you just need to feel as this person is already there now lastly i want to say two words about the runes that i picked for you so you have Otila and Hagalas and I picked them before I even did the reading as you saw in the intro and it is absolutely shocking because these ones speak about um, actually terrible nature forces that are destructive is like a hailstone that has been ruining all of your harvest all of your beautiful blossoming fields of vegetables that you've been growing for all winter and it has been destructing all of all of your treasure all of your property and this one is a message of withdrawing and letting go and separation and again that message of having to accept that a disrupting event has happened to you and having to sit with it and and just accept it and learn whatever lessons you can get from it i know that is a tough message but that's what's coming out for you and i feel that there is a lot of wisdom in being able to let go of something that you have lost of course it's not going to be crops for you that you have lost it might have been um, a person a relationship or even um a job opportunity whatever that is for your particular case it feels like something really uh, strong has been disrupted that harmony and created unbalance for yourself and making you feel really unsettled so your person is definitely showing a lot of empathy for you but also telling you that you got this and that they are there for you that you're going to go through this together okay and 
yeah with this magician as well like this band but they really believe in you they believe in your ability to restart from zero to create a new world for yourself so let me know guys if this has resonated don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below if you did enjoy this video and i'm always here for private readings if you need one and can't wait to see you again in the next video bye bye guys see you very soon